What is happening, Titan fam? Today, we are super excited to showcase this monster of a rig. By far the biggest build we've ever done here at Titan Vans. And uh, right off the bat, this is the biggest van Mercedes makes. A 170 extended, four by four. It's got the three liter turbo diesel under the hood. And we went kind of all out on this rig, custom build, so the client spec'd out all these details on this rig. Uh, but came out super cool. It's got tons of bells and whistles. So let's go let's jump right into it and uh, start showing you what we got. So the outside, this is a matte black full wrap. So we did a full color change. This van was actually white when it started with us. So I did a full custom wrap on it. It's got a couple of detailings up the hood. We did a agile rip kit for the suspension upgrade. So with all the weight that we added in here, we size the rear leaf springs accordingly to kind of match the the additional weight we've actually swapped to a coilover versus the stock strut that comes with the mercedes so a much beefier suspension up front and we also did an add a shock up front to uh, kind of help with all the additional weight upgrading wheels and tires uh, these are 275 70 r17s wrapped on some black rhino rims super nice uh, wheel set these are the bfg tk02 so a little bit of aggressive tread pattern so with this much weight and that type of tire, especially with the four by four on this rig, you're going just about anywhere you want to get to. So if you do get stuck, we'll roll around up front here. We got a CA tuned front bumper. This is their hammerhead bumper here. We did a worn Zian 12,000 pound winch uh, up front. So that's wired directly to the cranking battery there. Did some additional running lights up front as well as some lights up on the rack as well. So got tons and tons of lighting, super bright. Uh, these are uh, some BDs and they are ridiculously bright. Um, super sweet uh, for nighttime driving and off-road use. Little detail here, this was kind of that, some of that a little pinstriping that we ran up the, the vehicle on the hood, up over the top and then down the back as well, just for a little touch of class. All right, let's roll back around the side. We'll kind of talk about some of the other stuff we got going on here. Up top, we did an Illumines double loop rack. It's got perforated aluminum base, so you can, it's full decking up there, so you can walk around up on top of the rig. A Fiamma F45 wall mount. So that's a, just a manual awning and crank out. Um, it either the legs can either attach directly to the van or get staked right down into the ground. So you got a couple options there, depending on if you're on unlevel surface or not. You can see we got another BD light mounted up high here on the rack for some kind of a porch light and just kind of security light as well. Shore power and exterior outlet, kind of our standard location on most of our rigs. And around back, we got some Alvan products here. They're doing some really nice stuff. We like their products a lot. Uh, this is a Luminesce galley box mounted on the Alvan mounts and their ladder tire combo here. So we pulled the spare tire out from underneath mounted it right on the back. Some nice locks on everything, keep everything secure here in the back. All right, let's check it out on the inside. All right, this was a custom layout for this client. Uh, kind of went through all the different details with them and spec this thing out. You can see as soon as we opened up the door, we have some amp research electric steps. It's got some nice lighting underneath. Can't really see here during the daytime, but it's got some nice lighting that uh, illuminates the step for nighttime use, automatically deploys when you open the slider or the passenger door, and we have a matching set on the driver side for the driver door. Nice little feature we built into this cabinet. This is a really cool table design that we came up with here. A little drop down table. Now, this has been done tons of times, tons of different ways. What I really like about this design, we got some adjustable shelving in here, and the door on the inside allows you to access this space from both sides. So really neat, be able to store your food, induction cooktop, whatever you need right here um, and have access to it from inside the van. And then when you drop the table down, be able to pull that stuff right out to be able to use on the outside. You got a plug in right here at the end of the cabinet with a little USB port so you can charge stuff up, hook up all your kettle, cooktops, whatever you're using right, right there. You can see to make this work, we actually extended the flooring out on this rig. So we bumped the whole floor out, kind of cutting down into the slider door space and created a little cubby kind of for some like shoes or kind of random knickknacks right down here in this lower 
compartment there. So the flooring, this is a custom flooring. So this is a actually a heavy duty industrial vinyl flooring. So this is used in um, planes, boats, very durable from the same company that makes the coin dot that we use a lot in some of our other builds. Um, so it's all continuous one piece rolled out from the front to the back. No seams in it, even though it has this kind of a wood look, um, kind of slats kind of style. It is a one continuous piece. So kind of gives it some warmth down there on the floor, but still has all the durability that we like with the lawn seal products. The bug net. So this is another cool design. This is a custom uh, option that we did. We're gonna be working on uh, putting some of these together for more of a consumer product. So keep an eye out for that. We're hoping to come out with a couple of different options for people to be able to install themselves. Really cool features on this. So you can see the whole net rolls up to the top and has some clasps that hold up the netting. You can also fully unzip the entire netting around the entire, you just leave this frame. It installs right behind our rubber gasket here. So you can unzip the entire bug net if needed. But most of the time you're gonna leave this guy right in here. You can undo these clasps and deploy the bug net. Zip that guy down down over here and there you go that fast to get your bug net out so when you don't need it most of the time if you're driving around or it's the winter time you can keep it stowed up out of the way and uh, not have to worry about going in and out of it but when it's buggy out summertime uh, and you need a little bit of extra uh, protection you want some airflow to be able to leave the door open throw this guy open and then we got magnets down the middle here to make it really quick and easy to get in and out so that guy kind of just snaps together, put a nice little, uh, some weights down on the bottom to kind of keep that, hugging that lower edge as tight as possible. And uh, yeah, came out really nice, really cool design. Uh, our pollster did some great work on this. And so we're excited to kind of come up with some uh, additional products that we'll be, be selling online on uh, Titan DIY. So keep an eye out for that. All right, let's get inside here. This thing is massive. Like I said before, biggest van Mercedes makes, 170 extended. It just keeps going. So we'll get into all the back end here in a minute, but let's talk about up front and we'll work our way towards the back. So in the front end here, we kind of created a nice little eating area for four people. This is a removable bench seat. So it's actually mounted to some tracks on the floor and we're using some unwind seat lockers. Uh, those can be purchased on Titan DIY and we're also selling these seats that work right with the unwind seat lockers. So you can pop this out if it's not, if you don't need the extra capacity, but if you need to kind of tote a couple extra people around, you know, you get and throw four mountain bikes in the back and head out to the trails, uh, kind of base camp out of this guy. It's nice to be able to have the extra uh, capacity for passengers. The tabletop here, this is solid walnut tabletop and it is removable as well. So you can see over here on the wall, we have a strap that we can stow this guy. So that tabletop just pops right out. And then obviously right up front, we got the swivel seats, pretty standard on most of our builds, but we got some swivels to be able to rotate the captain, captains and passenger chairs around uh, to kind of create this little dinette area up front here. Underneath, we did a nice little light here, a little reading light for the passengers. So just a little touch button LED. Do have some operable windows here so we can get some good ventilation. These are CRL windows, um, awning style. So when you crank this guy out, kind of tilts out like that so it can be open during the rain. Um, you can leave these open while driving too, though we always kind of just recommend to, you know, just batten all the hatches when you're heading down the road. Little mini cabinet up here. Storing all the kind of foods, knickknacks, appliances, all that good stuff. Up top, we have our air conditioning unit. So this is a 13.5 um, K BTU air conditioning unit. Does a good job to help keep this this big rig cool, especially with that matte black finish, is gonna get, get hot in the summertime, so we needed a way to cool this guy down. Now this rig, like I said, it is a monster. We put a thousand amp hours of lithium ion batteries in this baby. Tons and tons of power. Also up front under the hood, we threw a second alternator. So we have 400 amps of charging capacity coming off the engine back to our back battery. So really fast to recharge the whole system uh, and tons of power to be able to run this AC unit for close to eight hours continuous off of that, off of the batteries themselves. So that's not shore power, that's not running the engines, that's boondocking, 
no sunlight, and you're running that AC for eight hours straight. So it is a monster of a system. While we were testing this system, we did a, like a three-day QC on this whole rig. We were running the air conditioner, the microwave, and the hot water heater all simultaneously. No problem. It's just insane how much power this thing has. All right, a little shower stall right here. So uh, this is a 24 by 30 inch shower stall. We have our shower spray up top, our shower light, just a little touch button. It does have a little nice red light on there for night use and then bright white and is dimmable as well. Little removable shower sprayer right here and you can use the quick release down here on the back wall if you wanna just fully remove this uh, shower hose so that it's not rattling around while you're going down the road. This is a Dometic cassette toilet. So really simple, it is removable. So if you don't want it in there while you're showering, you can just pop it out. Um, cassette toilets are really simple. They just have a reservoir down in the bottom. So both liquids and solids go right down in the bottom. And then you just quick release on the front to pull it out, take it and you can dump it at like an RV dump station or porta potty or um, rest stop and empty that guy out. Uh, it does have a little water reservoir. So it does have a, a flush on it. So you can rinse it out after use. And down below, we have a teak shower mat. So we installed a nice little wood mat so you're not standing on any metal uh, when you're using the shower. And so just a nice little, kind of warms up the inside of the shower a little bit and gives it a little bit nicer feel when in use. All right, lots and lots of functional cabinetry in this guy. Uh, we should kind of showcase this uh, door front here that where you can access the drop down table. Got a couple drawer boxes up top here. and a couple little cubbies down below. And we actually did this uh, aluminum plating on here uh, to give it a little bit of a touch down below. So it wasn't just kind of like all solid uh, face on the cabinet. So kind of broke that up with a little bit of aluminum there. Nice big cubby, some bulkier appliances there. We did some of our shelf cabinets up top here. Um, these are removable, so if the client ever wanted a little bit more headroom, they could pop these guys out. So this, this one and this one are both removable. All the other cabinetry is fixed. It's all permanently attached to the van. Uh, but these are really easy to remove, just a couple of star knobs up top and on the back. Undo those, slide the whole unit out, and you can get a little bit more um, headroom back. Also, the ability to store some stuff on the roof. So we did lots of these pucks in the ceiling. Some quick release. Uh, little D-rings here that can be used on all the different pucks. So you can strap surfboards, stand up paddle boards, kind of stow them up out of the way so you can keep your, your walkway and some of your living space clean and clear. The kitchen here. So we did a isotemp drawer 130. So really nice little marine unit. Got some nice little lighting on the inside when the door is open. The advantage to the drawer over the door, it's about four inches deeper, so you do get a little bit more volume of space there, but you also get a much larger freezer. So uh, the freezer in this is about three times the size as the door units. So that's one of the reasons we like the drawer a lot, just gets you a lot more functional freezer space. Uh, some of the other fridges are very, very small. Uh, there's also a little drawer underneath here, keep things organized. And for those, wine connoisseurs nice little wine holder all right up top here we got our two burner induction cooktop so if you've seen some of our other videos the induction is kind of our go-to uh, cooktop for for most of our cooking needs extremely efficient very safe check out some of our other videos if you want an explanation of kind of how these guys work but they're really really nice and um, we flush mount these guys in so it has a nice clean look and feel uh, and allows you to kind of maintain a lot of your counter space without uh, having a big lip kind of right with the uh, with the cooktop installed again kind of standard for our builds but we did a inset cutting board and also just kind of a filler piece for the sink so you can have some additional counter space if you notice here too this is kind of the details that we really love here at titan vans but it's all grain matched through so the countertop, this piece is actually cut directly out of the countertop and then just goes right back in. So we maintain that nice continuity of all those grains. And actually that's the same for all of our cabinetry. So we minimize all waste whenever possible by actually cutting all the door and drawer faces directly out of the same sheet of plywood. So it minimizes waste, brings the cost down and also adds that nice little touch, keeping those little details throughout. Up top here, got a microwave. Uh, this is actually just a little simple William Sonoma 
microwave, one of the smallest microwaves we can find, and they just work really well. Simple and uh, very effective. Underneath, we have some additional lighting. So again, some LED touch lighting. So for some task lighting right here at the kitchen. Installed a window above so you can get some ventilation when cooking, allow you to kind of exhaust and run the, the AC or the fan to be able to kind of pull some of that. Uh, if you're boiling water or cooking or whatever, you need to get some uh, fumes out. And then these window shades here, just clip right in and uh, magnet right on. You can tuck it back if you want a little bit of light in, but still want to have a little bit of privacy. You can kind of do a little half tuck back there and still have some light and kind of you can do it to kind of your comfort level there. Additional storage down below. Got some drawer boxes underneath here, all rim latches. So these guys clip up into the cabinetry to keep everything nice and secure when you're going down the road. And they got really nice. These are all stainless steel, so no cheap plastic. Uh, these things will last forever and uh, they just work. And that's what we love about them. Uh, a little access underneath here. So we got all of our plumbing down below so you can quickly access it, service it. It's a big thing that we do here at Titan Vans is we really think about our designs and how we install things. We wanna make sure no design's perfect, nothing's gonna last forever. We need to be able to get to stuff, replace it quickly and be able to get in there and do work on it. So we, we don't wanna design something to just get used once needs to you know last last a lifetime last the length of the vehicle so the storage just keeps going more and more storage it's an adjustable shelf in here so you can remove this shelf if you'd like but just tons and tons of storage space kind of starting to get back to some of the appliances back here so we've put some load lights underneath the bed here which we'll talk about pretty excited about this uh, but some additional more storage so this is kind of a neat little thing that we're doing now is we got our this is a Victron 3000 watt multi plus inverter. So this is kind of the heart of uh, really the batteries are the heart of the electrical system, but this is the monster that powers the air conditioning and the cooktop and all that. And it's just a beast of a unit. Uh, it takes a lot of programming to get it to all communicate effectively with the batteries and the, the management system and the charging system. Uh, but Victron does some really nice stuff to help integrate all those things together. This shelf is also removable, so you can get access to this unit really quick if you do need to replace it uh, or service it at all. Uh, but we wanted to get some additional storage and help kind of create some dividers with all uh, with that little shelf. So we notched it right around the inverter right there. On this side is uh, kind of our plumbing system. So all the plumbing is housed on one side of the vehicle. So we're not running pipes underneath the van. We're not running them up and over the ceiling. We keep all of our plumbing really simple to make sure that it lasts and uh, doesn't cause issues going down the road. This is a Isotemp Slim four gallon electric hot water heater. Again, runs right off the batteries. This thing pulls about 750 watts when it's running. It takes about an hour to fully heat the water. What's kind of cool about this hot water heater is it actually overheats the water. So it'll heat the water up to about 185 degrees, way hotter than what you'd want coming out of your faucet. But what's cool, it's a little hard to see, but tucked up on top here, there's actually a mixing valve that allows you to step the temperature down. So we'll take this 185 degree water, step that down to kind of normal hot water. So you can stretch this four gallons of really hot water to six to eight gallons of kind of normal hot. So uh, pretty slick little system. And uh, it's an additional four gallons of water capacity once it's filled. Down below here, we actually have a 25 gallon tank tucked underneath. So couple screws, this whole plate comes off and gives you access to all your plumbing and uh, your tank, all your fittings right behind this plate. And then we have our water pump and control valves all mounted in this back cavity right here. It'll be a little bit easier to show you a little later on when we swing around to the back. Uh, on this side, here's our battery system here. So did some magnetic plates here to clip this on so you can get quick access to your batteries. Just a monster of a system though. Uh, these are all Victron batteries, close to a thousand amp hours of capacity here. And we designed this cabinet with the ability to add an additional battery if needed. So it is a serious, serious system. Uh, we're pretty psyched how it came out. And uh, this thing, you, you can go just about anywhere, do just about anything. All right, let's talk about sleeping. This is a new design for us. We're pretty excited about it double-sided Murphy got a lot of uh, comments on YouTube all over the place talking about bed designs and some different options and uh, this client 
requested a Murphy style bed. So this is what we came up with. We opted to do a double Murphy to make sure we could tuck these guys up underneath the cabinet so we can maintain overhead cabinets. So we tried to keep the storage options open by breaking this bed up into two parts. Plus it kind of came out with some cool functionality since we did it that way. So start on the driver's side here. We got a little strap, a retention strap here that holds the bed platform up. You can simply release it and we did a little storing clip right there to hold that strap in place. Pop the leg down. And then you'll notice right here, we actually are utilizing the countertop itself, a little cork a foot right here on this piece um, as part of the bracing system. So we didn't want, we wanted to minimize the amount of legs or any sort of vertical posts um, to get in the way of kind of this nice open garage area. So uh, that was kind of what we came up with. And I think it came out really sweet. As you drop the bed down, swing the leg down. And there's your platform. Now, a couple of cool things before we get into the full bed. This is all clipped on here. So we got little snaps on all this guy. Allows you to keep the cushion attached to the platform. But if you want it up out of your way, kind of makes for a nice little workstation here. So if you flip this cushion up, you get a nice platform here where you can kind of utilize it as additional cooking space or kind of just a place to throw up your bags or use it for whatever. A little stand desk if you work remotely, which a lot of us are now during the COVID time. So kind of just, you know, we like the versatility, modularity of it. it. Gives you lots of different options. Get your walkway back. It's super cool. All right, let's throw that back down. It's a four piece cushion design. So we got this little cushion, fills this little void right here. And we'll swing the other side down. Same sort of thing, release the strap over here. Store it underneath. Flip this guy down. And then we'll fill this last little piece in right here. So nice big bed. I'm about 6'3". Got plenty of space. I don't want to get their bed all dirty. But I still got about good four to six inches from my head right there to the end of the doors. But it is just a big, big bed. Uh, it's a little over a queen size bed. I think the in dimensions came out to be around 80 inches long by about 74 inches wide. So nice, big, comfy bed. Uh, these are custom made mattresses in house here at Titan Vans. It's actually three different foams to get the feel that we like for these. We use a pillow topper and then a mid density and then a little bit more rigid, uh, kind of a dense layer of foam all at the bottom. Laminate all those together and then sew up these little slips. Uh, these can be zipped off and washed if needed. And uh, this new material that we're using has a nice, nice soft feel to it. So it's really comfortable. You can use it with a sheet or without. Obviously, it'll keep it a little bit cleaner if you kind of just throw a sheet over the top. But either way, it's ready to go. Let me fold this back up. So another kind of cool thing is that you can sleep with this guy as just a single person if you'd like as well. So if you fold this guy up, You can just sleep as a, if you're kind of just rolling solo for a trip, use this guy as just kind of like a little single bed to sleep up here and not have to deploy the full bed. You can kind of maintain this walkway. This thing is so solid. We put a ton of weight on this thing to test it and it is probably a little overbuilt, but you know, we'd rather do that than underbuild something and have it feel flimsy. So really psyched on how sturdy this guy came out. And um, you know, again, the versatility, we really, really like this design. I think you'll be seeing it to come on some some future custom builds. So let me put this guy up and uh, then we'll roll around to the back. Check out what we got going on. All right, let's check out this garage area. All right, so a couple of cool things right off the bat here. Talked about our load lighting. So we got our switch right here on the back, turn that off and on. Also, we added nice little load light off the back door here to help illuminate kind of this uh, um, rear area when you're loading and unloading. So we got a switch right here on the back. Cool feature about this guy, it's actually a little swivel light. So you can actually swivel this interior of the vehicle if you need a little bit more lighting back here or you know, oriented towards the outside uh, to utilize it as that load light. Got our filler port right here, 25 gallon tank underneath. Our rear spray down shower kind of pulls out. And then we have our control valve right here on the side to control both the flow rate and the temperature. 
We have an air compressor. So this is pretty cool. We'll run around to the front, kind of show you underneath the hood. But we have the airline air compressors actually mounted under the hood. And we ran airlines up under the hood as well as back here. So airlines on both sides of the vehicle to be able to inflate tires or deflate them for off-road use. Uh, so control switch up here. And then we also have a control switch up front. So kind of made, made sure you're, no matter where you're at, you can use the, the equipment properly. Control valve down below is for the plumbing. So we can control whether the plumbing is off, on, or we can drain the system with a single valve. So nice and clean. If you roll around to the side here, got our electrical system. One thing that I think we do really well at Titan Vans here is we make complicated look simple. This is it. That's all you see with the electrical. There's a ton going on in this system. Lots of batteries, lots of connections, uh, but we show you what you need to see and nothing else. And so this really clean utility panel here uh, is all that you need to interface with. Uh, you can actually Bluetooth into the solar system. You can Bluetooth into the batteries. You can Bluetooth into the inverter. Uh, and you can also Bluetooth into the battery monitoring system. So you can get all, you can geek out, check out all your specs, see how much power you've been using, uh, how much the solar is producing, all that stuff. So really nice, use the Victron Connect app, get access to all that stuff. And really nice integrated system, everything communicates with each other. Uh, it's, it's a lot of work to make it all work properly together, but when it's done right, that's how it should look. Let's check out underneath the hood and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's check out underneath the hood and uh, show you what we got going on. So this is the three liter turbo diesel engine. Nice little secret air line right here. So we put a little quick disconnect right there, centrally located, hook up your airlines and go to either driver, passenger, front tire to be able to inflate uh, if you've deflated from off-road use. Air compressor is tucked up over here. This is a Viair uh, air compressor mounted underneath the hood. And a little hard to see, but we actually pulled this whole front end apart and mounted a second alternator. So we have a dual alternator kit. It's a 280 amp high output alternator specific for lithium ion batteries. So if you actually look back here, we have a control module for the alternator. So that's a Balmer lithium ion charge controller for the alternator itself. So you wanna make sure that the alternator does not get too hot when powering lithium ion batteries. So that charge controller is specifically designed to keep that from happening. So had to pull this hole in apart, mounted some additional brackets up underneath, uh, put a new flywheel on and new belt to power that second alternator specifically. And uh, again, about 400 amps we tested this thing at going to the back battery. So with a thousand amp hour system, take you about two and a half hours roughly to recharge that entire system when driving. So um, this thing's a monster all around. Biggest, baddest van, biggest electrical system. This thing does just about anything you can want it to do. Hope you guys liked the video. Lots of cool stuff going on in this. Leave some comments. Let us know if you guys have any questions, uh, additional info you want on this rig. Lots more to come. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Subscribe, like, if uh, you want to see some more of these things coming your way. And uh, see you next time.